is not false bravado. As we see the organization today, I acknowledge that the fallout now from this political process has resulted in serious challenges that risk the entire organization in our 25 years. I didn't recognize how this decision would be perceived. We would never have picked up the phone when the civil service called asking us to help young Canadians get through the pandemic if we had known the consequences. Okay, did you, Craig, stages, did you speak to the sir, to anyone in the PMO? Did you speak to anyone in the uh, PMO Mr. on Chair. April the 23rd? Mr. Chair. Did you Go speak ahead. to anyone in the PMO on April sir, the 23rd? We're happy to be here for four hours. Great. Answer the question you. then. Sir, with great respect, we're here for April the 23rd. Did you speak to anyone in the Prime Minister's Just, uh, office? Order, yes or no? Or, or, order, or we're going to we're going to lose more time than gain uh, more time. Well, when we hear from the board of your chair that she was denied access to financial records, uh, that she was de denied access to your chief financial officer, and when she pushed for those answers, Mark, you hung up on her. Um, is that how you guys do business when you're when you're challenged? Sir, we are grateful for the. Uh, sorry, Mark. Mark hung up on her. I'm asking about Mark. Mark, she okay. said Mark hung up on her. I. Sure. Okay. Well, I'll follow you, sir. We're grateful for the 14 years of Michelle. We have great respect for her. The time of the pandemic was extremely challenging for many Canadians. Lots of I Canadians get that. We but really you hung up on her about financial. Sir, Did I you? don't feel that's a, a proper characterization of the series of events. Why don't you guys register to lobby government? Happy to speak to the question, sir. So Sophia Marquez, who does government and stakeholder relations, if I may just correct you, sir, that's her title. Um, engages multitude of stakeholders across provincial governments. But why don't you register to lobby? Yeah, just because, <laughs> sir, in, in fact, engaging the federal government is a relatively, it has never been more than uh, a few percentages of our budget. Yes. In fact, it represented last year 1.03%. But, but how, how, how little the money you get has nothing to do with the legal obligations. It's how much time is spent. So in the last month, I mean, you, you've been heavily involved in these programs with Minister Chegger, Minister Ning, uh, Bill Morneau's office is involved. Are you telling me that, you know, that somebody in your office wasn't spending at least 7.5 hours a week doing this? Because that preparation so is to that lobbying. Term. Why don't you register to lobby? Previous okay, this time point. to answer. Thank you. Previous to this point, and on, if I may clarify this point, the government came to us to ask for assistance on a program. Previous to this point, this was highly unusual for us to be spending any significant amount of time with the federal government on these type of proposals. But you're getting so a lot of money from them. I mean, YMCA registers to lobby, the Heart and Stroke Foundation, and they don't get nearly the kind of money that you guys have gotten. So they all register, the lobbying registry is full of charities except your organization. And yet none of them, um, say, for example, hire the prime minister's mother or the prime minister's brother or the, have the prime minister's wife or Bill Morneau's daughter or fly Bill, Bill Morneau. It's Good question, sir. That firstly, and I say this with, with great respect, Margaret Trudeau is more than someone's mother. Sophie Gregoire Trudeau is, is more than someone's husband, uh, wife, uh, that, that we live and we engage with individuals on the merit that they also bring themselves as individuals to these important causes. And, and I just, I, I feel I need to correct the record on that, sir. Um, but to the heart of your question why we didn't register is because based on our understanding of the time definition involved, and, and in the vast majority of these cases, what we're describing, in fact, everything until last month, uh, or two months ago, I should say. Did not have no. All right, now, uh, Justin Trudeau po uh, appeared in a, a We Are Canada video. Um, did, uh, did he come to a studio to pose uh, so that the cameras could circle him and beam those uh, very impressive uh, uh, light, uh, high-tech images on his forehead and across his body? Uh, so the, the, what you're referring to was uh, 10 uh, videos that took place with 10 distinct individuals in a 50-portrait yeah. individual series. Right. Uh, Did he come to a... You are bringing major, major corporate players to the table. And having the prime minister's family, the Trudeau name is enormous. Uh, you're providing access to the Trudeau family. Don't you understand or realize that that puts the prime minister into a serious conflict by you yeah. setting this up? That's not the appropriate definition of lobbying, sir, and I believe you know that. Well, I That's think you would understand it well, too. 
And then number three, with great respect is with trust. You trusted us with your own children for years in the program. I hope you trust us now. I, I don't trust you anymore, but I'll, I'll start by just saying how frustrating it's been to be a, a part of this committee meeting. I am glad that we've got ample time, thankfully. Uh, the inability of members to um, uh, remain silent when it's not their turn to speak is deeply discouraging. I find it disrespectful. Uh, these are the kinds of things that we learned how to do in elementary school. 